defend the standard of Asian Girls High School, Kadapa. In this video, I am going to explain about the parts of speech. So first of all, what is the parts of speech? The definition of parts of speech is the class of words based on the word's function. The way it works in a sentence. How many parts of speech are there and what are there? There are eight parts of speech and they are Noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and introduction. So first, let's move on to our part of speech number one. That is noun. What is a noun? A noun is a word used to name a person, place, animal, and thing. Let's see some examples. John. Rabbi, man, girl, boy. These are the examples of a person noun. Now, let's see one more example. Rabbi has a pet. In this example, Rabbi is a person noun. Now, let's see some examples of place noun. That is London, Paris, America, Delhi, and so on. Let's see one more example of a place noun. America is a developed country. In this sentence, America is a place now. And let's move on to our animal now. That is dog, lion, tiger, monkey, and so on. Let's see one more example. The dog is on the mat. In this sentence, dog is an animal now. Now, let's move on to our play now. Table. Pen, car, book, etc. Let's see one more example. The boy is reading a book. In this sentence, book is a thing now. Now, let's move on to our part of speech number two. That is pronoun. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. Let's see some examples of a pronoun. I you, we, he, she, it, me, us, them, him, her, and so on. Let's see some more examples. They are good at playing basketball. In this sentence, they is a pronoun. And let's see number two example. She has many chocolates in her pocket. In this sentence, she is a pronoun. And let's move on to our example number three. That is, he speaks three languages. In this sentence, he is a pronoun. Now, let's move on to our part of speech number three, verb. What is a verb? A verb is the one that expresses an action or a state of being. Now, let's see some examples. Here, action word example. She iron her dress. In this example, iron is an action word. And here, I play football. In this sentence, play is an action word. Now, in this example, she feels tired. Feels is the state of being word. And in this example, they feel happy. Feels is the state of being word. Now, let's move on to our part of speech number four, that is adverb. What is an adverb? An adverb is a word which describes or adds to the meaning of a verb, an adjective, or an adverb verb. See some examples. Fast, slow, very, happy, well, and so on. Now here, in this example, he ran fast. Fast is an adverb. And here, she walks slowly. Slowly is an adverb. And in this example, the children are playing happily with their toys. Here, happily is an adverb. And in this example, Sita is very beautiful. Very is an adverb. Now, let's move on to our part of speech number five. That is adjective. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes the quality or the state of being.
being of noun. See some examples. Beautiful, quickly, strong, wiser, etc. In this example, they live in a beautiful house. Here, beautiful is an adjective. And in this example, Tom is a very naughty boy. Here, naughty is an adjective. And in this sentence, he is weak. Here, weak is an adjective. Let's move on to our part of speech number 6, preposition. What is a preposition? A preposition shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun to another word. They can indicate time, place, or relationship. Let's see some examples. With, between, near, on, in, at, about, under, and so on. Let's see some more examples of preposition. The book is on the table. In this sentence, on is the preposition. Let's see the next example. He sat under the tree. In this sentence, under is the preposition. Let's see our third example. She gets up at 5 o'clock. In this sentence, at is a preposition. So now, let's move on to our part of speech number 7, conjunction. What is a conjunction? A conjunction is a word used for joining one word to another word or one sentence to another sentence. Let's see some examples. And, or, but, because, so, unless, and so on. Let's see some more examples here. Lata and Sita are friends. In this example, and is a conjunction. Let's see our next example. I was really hungry. So, I made myself a sandwich. In this sentence, so is a conjunction. Now, let's see our third example. Sita wanted to work in America, but she couldn't find a job there. In this sentence, but is a convention. Now, let's move on to our part of speech number eight, the last one. Introduction. What is an introduction? An introduction is a word that expresses a strong feeling and emotion. Let's see some examples. Out. Wow. Oh, alas. Let's see some more examples. Oh, I forgot to ask. In this sentence, oh is an introduction. Now, let's move on to our next example. Wow, what a beautiful car. In this sentence, wow is an introduction. Now, the third example. Ouch, you step on my toe. In this sentence, ouch is an introduction. And here, the last example. Alas, his friend died. In this sentence, alas is an interjection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.